All right, so listen up. That new TV man, or as I like to call him, purple TV man, appearing in Skibidi Toilet 73. Full version. Got you thinking, right? Is he working with secret agent operation, or is he just doing his own thing? Now hear me out. I have a feeling this purple TV guy has some fancy job going on, but the whole secret agent connection? I'm not so sure yet. Remember when TV woman showed that smiley face on the screen? That was a clear sign, like he has some inside knowledge. But here's the thing. Secret agents usually stick with a green theme, right? This purple TV man? No green anywhere. But wait, that doesn't mean he's not involved in some hidden stuff. Now here's where it gets interesting. It seems like only the camera woman seems to notice this guy. It's like he's invisible to everyone else. And why did he show up to stop her? Maybe it's part of a plan by the secret agent. They send him to distract her, lead her away from those mysterious doors towards the crowd. Sneaky, huh? And let's not focus too much on the green light thing. Remember red shirt cameraman? We suspected him of being a secret agent from the beginning, but we only saw that green light recently. So who's to say purple TV man can't keep his secrets too? I'm telling you, it's all about the hidden game. Just like with Plunger Man and his special cameraman connection, it's all secret until it's not. And hey, who's to say secret agents only recruit cameraman? I mean, that guy has a collection of heads from all walks of life on his desk. Maybe he's got speaker men and TV men in his circle too. And this purple TV man, he's like the best of the best from that group. But hey, this is just me putting the pieces together. Can't say for sure if this theory is going to hold up, but man, wouldn't it be crazy if it did? And that's for today.